starting the video in three, two, one. Hey, what is going on, my fellow gaming enthusiasts? Welcome back. This is Dragon Master Drayden coming to you guys yet again from my gaming room. So, uh, before we get into today's video, I did want to go ahead and do a quick shout out to everybody in Slide who subscribed and uh, watched my video uh, yesterday. If you guys are new to the channel and Slide that, I did do a Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom Special Edition unboxing on my channel just yesterday. Um, I will leave a link to that video in the description below. So, if you guys are new and Slide that, please go check that out. Uh, I thought it was really, really cool and I was really happy and Slide that uh, to finally get that going. Um, also, I want to give a quick shout out and stuff that to Tanner, um, one of my subscribers and stuff who did comment on my first video yesterday. Uh, thank you, pal. I really do appreciate it, and I do promise you that I have got a lot more content coming. So do make sure and stuff that you stay tuned. And uh, yeah, so uh, today I'm going to go ahead and do what I promised in my first video, and I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a tour of my gaming setup. Now I know inside that over on the right side and everything you can see my gaming collection over here but I'm gonna be showing you guys everything. I'm gonna be showing you my collection, um, my PC setup, uh, basically where I make my videos and where I do a lot of my gaming because obviously this is a gaming channel and this is what you guys inside that are here to see. So if you guys will give me a second inside that I'm gonna go ahead and inside that and get that set up and I will be back with you guys. Stay tuned. And here we go, guys. So we are going to go ahead and get started and set that on the game room tour. So I do have a couple of bookshelves here. This is what I keep pretty much my entire gaming collection on. On the top and so that, you do see a lot of the bigger stuff that I really just don't have room and so that on my shelves to be able to put because it is really big. Um, but a lot of it is actually more the standout stuff like my Persona 5 Take Your Heart Edition and uh, my Tekken 7 Collector's Edition are both extremely nice. Uh, so I do put them up there because I do like to show them off. Uh, and then I have a couple of miscellaneous stuff, uh, you know, some mods and ends, a couple of gamer loot boxes, some sealed accessories, just things like that. Uh, because, like I said, I am a collector, and so I do uh, collect quite a few different things. Moving right along, we've got the first layer shell of the shelving. Um, we do have my PS2 library. It is extremely extensive, as you can see. I'm a huge PlayStation enthusiast. For those of you guys inside that who are new to the channel, I did say in my previous video inside that that I do enjoy the PS4, but the PS2 uh, is my favorite retro console. Um, as you can see inside that by this very extensive library, I have put a lot of time and a decent amount of money inside that trying to build this library up. So this is just, oh, I love it so much. Um, some of the more standout titles, as you can see, we do have some Dragon Ball Z, um, some Resident Evil is one of my favorite zombie shooters, uh, the Tales series, the Final Fantasy series is my favorite RPG series ever. I do like it more than Kingdom Hearts, uh, I know I'm going to get some hate for that, uh, even though the Kingdom Hearts series does have good music. It does have really good music. Um, and then uh, some of my favorite, like, sort of free-run platformers are the uh, Spyro series. I love Spyro the Dragon. I think he is a like the best Sony mascot in the world. Um, and I do have almost every single game in this series. I don't have all of them yet, but I am working on it. So this is actually a series I'm actually really passionate about trying to complete. Uh, God of Wars, stuff like that. I do have obviously a secondary row, but I'm not going to go into a whole, you know, a huge detail about that. Um, I will probably end up doing a top 10 video uh, of my top 10 PS2 games in my library, so uh, do look forward to that. Then moving right along, we do have uh, the PS3. As you can see, I don't have a huge library for it either, but I am currently working on growing it. Um, over here you do see my Legend of Spyro Dawn of the Dragon. I This has got to be one of my all-time favorites on PS3. I love this game so much and I was so lucky and so that to find it. There is a really funny story behind it. Um, Another known fact inside that, that the PS3 version is actually the more expensive version, and it's also the harder to find version as well. Uh, the 360 version is a little bit more common, um, so if you guys inside that are trying to find it on a budget, you could definitely try going for the 360, but uh, it's not the PS3, and it never will be. <laughs> um, and then, of course, I have a couple of uh, limited and collector's editions on here too, including Fallout 3 and Guilty Gear XRD Sign. Uh, I love Bethesda. I'm a huge fan of Fallout um, and the Elder Scrolls series. And then, of course, uh, the Guilty Gear series is actually one of my favorite platform fighters. Uh, that and Blaze Blue, which a buddy of mine actually got me into not too long ago. So, uh, PS3, um, so super cool. 
Moving right along, we do have the more current gen system right here. This is my Nintendo Switch area. As you can see, I don't have a whole lot for the Switch because of the fact that the console did just come out. Um, I mean, I know it's been out for about a year and so that, but I haven't actually owned mine for a year. Um, so I actually have just recently got uh, into collecting for that. I do have some of the more standout titles, obviously, like I've got uh, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, Mario Odyssey, Pokemon Tournament. Uh, I did just pick up Sonic Forces. Um, it did not get great reviews and so that, but honestly, I don't know why. I think it's actually a pretty decent Sonic game. Um, and then, of course, Mario Kart. Uh, the two special editions I have are the Fire Emblem Warriors and the uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Proto Man hat. I'm sorry, I'm just going to put that over there. Uh, I mean, just, just, just look at that. Like, just look at that artwork. That thing is so beautiful, and I think one of the things I love about this thing the most is the fact that this is the only limited edition of a Switch game, at least to my knowledge, uh, if I'm wrong, and so that you can feel free to quote me down in the description below, um, or in the comment section. This is um, the only Switch special edition that has come with a steelbook case. I'm not going to lie, it does have a steelbook case, and I thought that was extremely cool. So I am actually super happy I got it. Put my Proto Man hat right back over there. Then I got a few other odds and ends. Uh, got I only have one amiibo and set that uh, for Breath of the Wild. I do want to get the rest of them, but you know I'm not rich, so I can only pick them up and so that you know if and when I can. I uh, got my Infinite Stratos box over there for those of you guys and so that who are familiar with the series. This is Charl. She is my Infinite Stratos waifu. I oh God, I love her so much. I love this box. It is another thing stand out in my collection. Then moving right down to the shelf underneath it, we do have my Wii section. Um, little disclaimer, I am not a huge Wii fan, uh, at least not the original Wii. I don't know why. Uh, it may have been some of the games and stuff that came out with it, but I just had a really hard time staying interested in it. Um, as you can see, I do own Wii games, though, because there are a few Wii games that I thought were actually worth uh, you know, investing and in trying to find. I uh, got a couple of uh, anime titles like Yu-Gi-Oh! and Bleach Shattered Blade. Uh, you know, just things like that. And then obviously the Super Mario games like the Super Mario Galaxies and Mario Sports Mix. And then I have uh, the Wii U as well. Um, I actually, that's one of my more current systems that I actually started collecting for. Um, and again, I don't collect a whole lot of games on it, but I do collect some of the more popular ones, at least to me. Like uh, the Zelda Twilight Princess HD Remastered with the Wolf Link Amiibo. Uh, those are a little hard to come by these days from what I uh, have been able to find. Uh, Tokyo Mirage, the uh, Super Mario Wii U, just things like that. Uh, so that's, honestly, I like the Wii U. I think it's actually a pretty decent console, even though it did not sell very well. And I do admit that I do like the Switch better because I think it solves all the problems the Wii U had. But that is a discussion for a different video. So, moving right along to the gem of my collection, it is my PS4 shelf. Yes, guys, that's right. This is what I game on more than any other system that I currently own. As you can see inside that, I have picked up a lot of games for this system. Um, some of the ones in front, uh, definitely some of the more recent ones, like... Uh, see we've got monster hunter world right here i'm sorry <laughs> that's the witcher we have monster hunter world uh dragon ball z fighters uh i did pick up uh sword art online fatal bullet uh the seven deadly sins knights of britannia and then uh for those of you guys inside who are new to the channel i did just do a nino kuni 2 revenant kingdom special edition unboxing i will leave a link down in the description below and so that if you guys want to go check that video out um, I do have the Shadow of Colossus Remake Special Edition that is actually still in its plastic. I have not opened this yet, so um, future video maybe? We'll see. Um, and then I have a small collection of Vita and PSP games. Uh, the reason I don't own a whole lot of these is only because of the fact that I actually just recently came into these consoles. Um, I have tried, uh, I had this growing, the PSP growing up, and then I had the Vita for a little while, but I did have to get rid of it sadly. Uh, so I am working on trying to re-get into this series. So uh, I will be uh, picking up more games and so that and everything for these in the future. Probably ordering them online because uh, good PSP games and good Vita games are actually really hard to find in stores these days. It, it sucks. It really does. But, I mean, it, they're still great consoles inside, so it's definitely worth it. So moving right along after that, we do have my uh, DS and 3DS library right here. Um, I do really, really like the big box 3DS games. Um, that one is the second Bravery Default. The other one is the Fire Emblem Echoes. Uh, that's the Shin Megami Tensei 4. That's the Radiant Hysteria. And then that's Sinran Kagura. 
And then that is the dual pack edition of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Um, I do love my 3DS library. Uh, I do have quite a few games for it, including the Pokemon series, the Shin Megami Tensei series. Uh, I, I do like Mario. I don't like it as much as Zelda, but I do like Mario. Uh, so I do have a lot of Mario-themed games. I almost have all of the uh, Zelda games on the 3DS, with the exception of Majora's Mask. Um, I still do need to get that. This is a uh, this is a shimmery little poster that came uh, with the strategy guide I picked up a while back for Pokemon uh, <laughs> White and version and Black version. As you can see, it's shimmery. Oh, uh, that's really cool. And then uh, over here inside that, I've got some of my more uh, standout DS titles, including my Pokemon Soul Silver and Heart Gold. Uh, these are extremely collectible and very very expensive. Uh, but I did manage to get them at a steal of a price. Um, you like you guys wouldn't even believe inside of how I came into these. Um, so uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much all for that shelf. Um, I, I really do enjoy my handhelds, at least my Nintendo handhelds. Uh, again, I do love the Sony handhelds too, but I just recently got them, so uh, you know, just give me some time inside that, and I'll get a bigger library for them. Moving right along, we do have my Nintendo GameCube shelf, um, along with a couple of uh, original N64 games as well. I do own an N64. I do own the Ice Blue variant. Um, I will definitely show that off in a, a future video as well. I love dice. As you can see, I love dice. <laughs> I used to play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! all the time and so that, and so I used to always have to need dice, um, and I just I started collecting dice for some reason. I don't know why, but I just I love dice. Um, I don't have a whole lot of games in my GameCube uh, library, only because of the fact that a few of them that I'm hunting for are a little bit harder to find. Um, like, I don't have uh, Smash Brothers Melee, or um, Zoid's Battle Legends, or the... I believe it's Fire Emblem Radiant Sun that I'm still looking for. Um, but I do, you know, I'm a very patient person. I'm a very patient collector, so I will find them originally. Um, the standout titles in my collection are definitely my Pokemon Coliseums. I do have uh, the original and the bonus disc, along with Gale of Darkness. Sonic Adventure Battle 2 is my favorite Sonic game out of all of them. This will always be number one. This was most of my childhood right there. Um, and then I've got the... Legend of Zelda Collector's Edition as well. That's the disc that comes with basically, um, I believe it is Ocarina of Time, and then Majora's Mask, and then a couple of the originals, and then it has the demo of Wind Waker. Uh, so that is definitely more of a standout. That was actually sold to me with my GameCube when I rebought it. Uh, so I was super, super happy about that. And then this right here is my SNES Classic. Um, I did get the carrying case and so that for it because this is a super hard console to find. Uh, just because of the fact that usually when places get it, it usually gets sold out immediately. So, uh, yeah, definitely needed to protect that. And then on the very bottom shelf, we also have my uh, strategy guide sort of area. Um, I do have quite a few of these. I do pick them up mostly for Pokemon, or at least I did back in the day, but uh, I don't pick these up as often right now just because they, at least some of the more recent ones, can actually get kind of pricey. Um, but uh, I do have a couple of them though. A couple of boxes I keep some miscellaneous stuff in. Um, and then I am a 90s kid, so I did enjoy 90s cartoons such as the original Batman, uh, Justice League, uh, Hey Arnold, which is one of my all time favorite Nickelodeon shows ever. It always will be. And then uh, a couple of uh, like TV series and uh, you know, just things like that. So uh, I actually do enjoy having physical copies of stuff. I know that's kind of weird to some people, but I prefer watching them physical and not digital. Uh, I do the same thing with games, obviously. So that's pretty much it for that shelf. And then for the last thing uh, in my gaming shelf area, we do have the reason why I love my fighting game so much, my Razer Panthera Arcade Stick. This was not cheap at all. This cost me $200, but I still do not regret instead of buying it. Um, once you play a fighting game on an arcade stick, I promise you, you will never play a fighting game the same again. I will literally never play a fighting game with a controller unless it's a certain type, which I don't know. I, it kind of depends because I did play DBZ Fighters and saw that with a controller and it actually wasn't that bad. I got my Switch bag that I like to carry stuff in. And that is pretty much it for my uh, gaming shelves. I'm going to go ahead and do a little uh, wide view for you guys and saw that so I can show you guys everything. Uh, this has taken me... Uh, 
I believe two years to put together. Um, I've came into all of this and thought that slowly but surely and I've had a little bit of help doing it and I I just I love it this is this is basically what I have this is my collection this is my passion this is my hobby um, so I, I'm super happy and it is only growing bigger and bigger by the day and I do want uh, want to keep a video record inside that of how big this grows so uh, do you, you guys inside that are gonna see this grow a lot um, in the next couple of years inside that as I continue making these videos so uh, you know make sure instead to you know stay tuned and so that and keep on watching guys because there's still a lot to see uh, moving right along, we do have my PC rig. Um, this is actually kind of brand newish. Um, I actually did just recently build this. Um, I'm not going to go into detail on the components or anything like that, but um, I am just now starting PC gaming. Um, you know, as you can see with that, I am mostly a console gamer, but you know, I am trying to test the waters instead with PC games because there are some PC games that you know, as much as I hate to admit, are actually better to play on PC than to play on console. So this is my PC rig, and I did build this myself, and I love it. And then moving right along, uh, this is the desk area that you have seen me uh, record at in most of my videos so far. Um, I do play both my PS4 and my PC on a PC screen. I don't know what it is, but it just it looks so much better on a PC screen than it does on a TV. I was playing it on like a 40-inch TV, but I just I don't know. It's it's really strange. Um, the, my uh, this is my Razer Black Widow keyboard, um, and then I have a Razer Naga uh, mouse over there. My headset, um, and then this desk. Oh my God, this desk! Um, I just recently got this desk off of Amazon. This is the Gamer Pro Edition uh, Gamer's Desk, and as you can see, do a little wide angle shoot for you guys. This holds just about everything you could possibly want. Uh, for a gaming setup. Um, that's my laptop right there. It has a little storage compartment underneath for that. Uh, it holds my keyboard. It holds uh, my PS4 controllers. It does have a couple racks for those. Uh, a place that you can actually put games on both sides. It has a place where you can put a tablet, a phone, uh, to set up like a little charging station. I do have an HDMI switcher right there and a multi-port so I can charge multiple devices. And um, it's just it's it's a really really nicely built desk. It's got plenty of space instead of for cable management. The only reason why my cables are a little scattered is because of the fact that I, I do have a lot hooked up right now, um, and I do have um, these placemats. Uh, again, you know, anime themed, so that I'm using to hold everything. Uh, the mat actually at the beginning of the video was actually another play mat that I had, so uh, I really like those. Uh, it does have a cup holder. I mean, a cup holder. I mean, come on. Like, how cool is that? Like, you just you have your own cup holder right there. Um, and then these are where you uh, keep the speakers at uh, on the sides. But I don't currently have those hooked up because I am listening through all of my stuff inside through my headset, uh, which I'm okay with. Um, but, you know, I kind of I kind of pull them out and so the odds and ends. Um, and then currently, uh, this is the chair I'm using. It's just, you know, your run-of-the-mill recliner. Um, I am planning instead that on getting an actual, uh, like, gaming computer chair um, within maybe the next several weeks or it could be inside that closer to the end of this month um, but that's really the only thing I'm missing to kind of you know bring this whole setup together uh, but right now though I'm not complaining this is an absolutely amazing gaming setup and I'm having a lot of fun with it and this is also again where I make it so that all my videos at and uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. That is uh, all. So I'm going to go ahead and cut the video right here and so that so I can get back to me. So just a sec. And we're back, guys. So I hope you guys and so that really enjoyed the video. Um, I'm sorry if it did take a little long and so that, but I did have a lot of stuff I wanted to show you guys. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a basic idea inside that on uh, what I do in my spare time, what I've accumulated over my years as a collector and as a gamer, and uh, just giving you guys a little overview on sort of what to expect um, in the you know future coming videos. Um, I am on PS4, obviously, and I am also on Steam as well. I will leave uh, my Steam ID and I will leave my PS4 uh, gamer tag in the description below if you guys instead want to hit me up, you guys want to talk to me personally. Um, I'm 
really all about trying to interact with you guys. Uh, so the more so that we can do that, the better we are. If you are new to this channel though, um, and you haven't seen any of my other videos, I will leave a link to my last video, my unboxing video, in the description below. Uh, so do go and uh, check that out. If you like the video, smash the like button. If you really love the channel inside that, please hit the subscribe button. And that's pretty much it, guys. This has been Dragon Master Drayden coming to you guys with my game room tour setup. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.